With an e-commerce store, it is almost mandatory to have a menu list in the app so that your users can navigate to any page they wish in just one click. Let me show you today how to use the menu list with the AppMaker dashboard. In the AppMaker dashboard, on the right side of your screen, you'll see an option called Customize App. Click on that and then click on Menu. When you click on Menu, the menu list will appear and you will already see a few options available in the menu. Now these options will seem familiar to your uh, dashboard because all these categories will be listed from the website that are already there in your menu list of the website. So they get automatically listed in the app as well. But apart from the already listed menu items, if you want to add an extra menu item that is available too. Let me show you how to add a new menu item to your app. Click on add menu item. On the right side of your screen, you'll see two options. First, a menu title and second, a menu type. Let's see how it works. Click on menu title and give any name that you want. In this case, I am going to give the title as fashion. Second, select menu type. In this, you'll have two options. First is the title and second is menu item. First, title. Now, title is any title that you can give to your menu item. And following that, you can give a lot of subtitles or categories that you want. And just click on add and save. In this case, let me show you how to add a menu item. When you add, an, add a menu item, it is mandatory to give an action as well. Choose an action. In this case, I'm going to choose open product by category to show all the products of category called fashion. Click on category and then type the category that you want. I've chosen fashions. Now, once you do all this, you can even add a menu icon. Menu icon in the case of title will not be visible but in the case of a menu item, it will be. If you want to add an image, you can definitely do that. But if you do not want to add an image, you can skip this part and then click on add and then save. Let me show you how to add a menu icon. Click on open media library and you'll see a bunch of options from the images that are already there in your WordPress dashboard. Else, you can click on upload media and then upload an image. Usually for a menu icon, an image of size 100 cross 100 pixels is used. You can even use GIFs as menu icons for your menu item. But if you do not have a min image already, you can click on the other two options. One of them is Unsplash. Unsplash offers a couple of free images that you can choose and then just click on add and it will be visible in your menu item. If you want to change this icon, just click on this again and click another image as you feel like. Apart from these, you also have another option called Icon Scout. In Icon Scout, you get the option of either free images or paid images as per your need. Click on any image and then you can just add it. You can even search for an image that you need and you'll get those. Let's say I chose this icon. Click on insert. And there you go. Once done, click add and then save. As you can see, you'll see the menu item available here. The best part is you can even drag it up or down wherever you like. If you want to make it a subcategory of some other, say, item, menu item, you can even do that too. So if it should come inside this, you can do that. And you can drag all the items as you wish like. Once done, just click on save 
and it is ready to be viewed in your app in real time.